As we move to a more sustainable transportation system, the amount of electric vehicles hitting the road will continue to increase. Fortunately, the charging infrastructure is beginning to get a much needed upgrade. But while all that is happening, charging stations will see an influx of new EVs. Unfortunately, this has caused a bit of confusion about which stations to hook up to, especially for new EV owners. Figuring out the range of an EV is simple and a selling point. How quickly it charges, also known as the charge rate, at a DC fast charger, well, that can actually be difficult to surmise. So what is a charge rate? Well, at its core, it's the amount of electricity that a vehicle can accept at any moment from a supported charging station. So the higher the number of the charge rate, the quicker the vehicle will charge. Unfortunately, it's not always quite that simple. Some vehicles support up to 350 kilowatts, which is very fast, while others only support up to 50 kilowatts. Now that number, along with the battery capacity, that will determine how long it'll take a vehicle to go from say 10% to 80%. Unlike traditional gas vehicles, EVs fuel up at varying rates depending on the vehicle itself and the station that it's connected to. And we're here at ChargePoint headquarters in Campbell, California to help you navigate the different charging rates coming from the stations and what that means for various vehicles on the EV market. For vehicles that can support a higher rate of charging, for example, this Kia EV9, this variant supports DC fast charging up to 210 kilowatts. So if I'm out in the world and I'm looking for a charging station, I'm going to want something that goes a little bit higher than that. For example, this charging station supports DC fast charging up to 400 kilowatts, and there are a lot of 350 kilowatt stations out there on the market, but 210, 400, I'm gonna be okay plugging into this charging station. That's kind of the whole deal with DC fast charging is you want to match the vehicle with the station. This is where we get into a bit of confusion about charging. Some automakers don't actually share the charge rate of a vehicle up front and instead give charging times. For example, Kia shares that the EV9 will charge from 10 to 80% in 24 minutes on a 350 kilowatt DC fast charger, which is nothing to sneeze at, but that information doesn't really help you when you go out to charge at a DC fast charging station, which is why it's important to know the DC fast charge rate of your vehicle. Take for example, this Volkswagen e-Golf, a vehicle that hasn't been on the market for a few years, but still a great little EV. Its charging rate, it tops out at 50 kilowatts. Meanwhile, the Chevy Bolt, another great EV that has just been taken off the market, it also only charges at 50 kilowatts. Now that vehicle has a range of up to 256 miles. Meanwhile, that EV9 that I'm driving, it has a range of 270 miles. If you're just looking at easy to find range specs, they seem like they're sort of the same car. Well, no, because that EV9 charges at 210 kilowatts, while the Chevy Bolt only charges at 50 kilowatts. This Hyundai Kona Electric, it has about the same amount of range as the Chevy Bolt, a little over 250 miles. But unlike the Bolt, this vehicle will actually charge quicker. It'll charge it up to 77 kilowatts at a DC fast charger, while the Chevy Bolt will only charge up to 50 kilowatts. That said, it's actually really difficult to find that specification, that charge rate on Hyundai's site. Instead, Hyundai shares information about time and percentage. So you'll go from 10 to 80% in about 47 minutes with this vehicle. Now that math problem is the same math problem you found with the EV9, and that's because Kia and Hyundai are both part of the Hyundai Motor Group. And while I understand why the automaker is trying to make it easier for uh, new buyers and owners of their electric vehicles by just giving them a percentage of how quickly the vehicle will charge, it kind of does them a disservice by not giving them the actual rate because again, if you go to a charging station, and again, this vehicle charges at 77 kilowatts, I should not be plugging into a 350 kilowatt capable charger if there are 150s or 100s available. So what invariably happens is that a person with a vehicle that charges above 200 kilowatts, for example, the person who drives this Kia EV9, they pull up to a charging station to find that the only 350 or 400 kilowatt station is being used by a person with a 
let's say Eagle or a Chevy Bolt that only charges up to 50 kilowatts. Now, that person might not know that their vehicle has a hard stop at 50 kilowatts. They might think it's gonna charge a little bit quicker, but even if they pulled up to a 1,000 kilowatt station, it's not gonna charge above 50 kilowatts, which leads to a lot of frustration. Right now, the majority of the charging locations out there, they are mixed. They have 50, 100, 150, 350, even up to 400 kilowatt charging stations all at one location, which is sort of the source of all this frustration. What's nice is that there are more and more charging locations out there being spun up that have only charging stations that are 350 kilowatts or higher. That means when you pull up to that location, there's less of a worry if you're in the incorrect station. At these stations, it doesn't matter how quickly your car charges because they all deliver a rate that's quicker than anything on the market and there are no awkward moments when someone has to ask a Bolt owner if they wouldn't mind switching charging stations. This 400 kilowatt station, it's actually future proof. This and stations that go up to 350 kilowatts, they are future proofed because in the future, there will be vehicles that can charge at that rate. Right now, there's really nothing on the market that'll charge at 400 kilowatts, but it's good to know that when they come out, they'll be ready to go. Now we do need to note a few charging caveats. DC fast charging rates, they can be affected by a variety of variables. In other words, your vehicle that supports DC fast charge up to 200 kilowatts, it might only charge at 150 kilowatts or 100 kilowatts. Now, a vehicle is likely to charge below its highest supported rate based on a variety of items. For instance, it could be something to do with the battery temperature. Uh, the charging station hardware and software could have issues. And there's also the amount of charge a vehicle will accept based on its current state of charge, how much energy is already in the battery. Now, we'll be covering all of these items in future SAE videos. So if you own an EV or you're thinking about buying one, be sure to find out how quickly the vehicle can charge. And for some vehicles, it's weirdly difficult to get that information. You're gonna probably have to do a little bit of digging, but once you do find that out, it's gonna be incredibly helpful when you're just charging about town and when you are planning long road trips. A 50 kilowatt vehicle, well, it's gonna take a long time to charge versus say a vehicle that charges like this BMW at 206 kilowatts. You can just kind of do the math, this charges four times faster. And finally, while it is great if you have a vehicle that charges above 200 kilowatts, you also have to kind of take into account the vehicle battery size and the charging rate. For example, if you have a vehicle that has a battery capacity above 100 kilowatt hours, well, having a charging rate above 200 kilowatts, that's great and that makes a lot of sense. But if you're driving something like this, the brand new Fiat 500e, well, it only has a 42 kilowatt hour battery pack. So its DC charge rate of 85 kilowatts makes total sense for this vehicle. What's important is that EV drivers find out one of the most important pieces of information about their vehicle, and that is the charge rate. Uh, it is vitally important, especially if you do not have at-home charging, and when you are planning road trips, it's gonna tell you where you can stop and how long you're gonna need to stop to charge during your long venture. And of course, when you're pulling up to that charging location, it's gonna help you figure out which station to park at. For more videos about EV, sustainability, batteries, and manufacturing, be sure to subscribe to SAE International.